COVID-19 has disrupted life for every one of us across the planet. To do everything and have such a good little three months, then it all just to go down the drain, I was just like... After an amazing start to the 2020 season, Matt Banting's career was put on hold by the worldwide COVID shutdown. We are postponing or cancelling all WSL events at all levels. This wasn't Matty's first big blow. An injury in 2016 threatened to end his career. Already experiencing a bit of hardship losing my sponsor. Back in the end of 2016, I was with Quicksilver for 10 years and then Billabong three or four years before that. And just to feel like you're part of the family with Quicksilver and stuff and be up there with kind of the top 10 athletes and then to get ditched after a couple injuries, I felt like that was when I really realised everything. I was like down and out, I lost my sponsor, I couldn't surf for like nine months and come off the CT, making good money and just life being so good and everything. So to experience that in the start of 2017, I think nothing could really get much worse than that. After the best tour start to date, with two of three podium finishes and securing a win, Banting was well positioned for re-qualification to the WSL Championship Tour. That was the best start I've ever had on that 2020 WQS season. This is going to be a really good year. It'll give me a, a really good opportunity to crack it. Despite Matty's achievements, another big blow has stopped him in his tracks. COVID-19 has disrupted life for every one of us across the planet. And we want to be as transparent with you about what we know, what we don't, and what we're planning to do. To do everything and have such a good little three months, then it all just to go down the drain, I was just like, just a bit dumbfounded. I was just like... Felt robbed maybe. Yeah, a little bit. You're just like a bit here and there, but you got to come back to earth and realize a lot of people are going through the same thing and so you got to stay positive through it really yeah and, and how do you how do you get through that sort of you know I mean it's, it's just all unknown right so <laughs> it's it's been a really weird time I thought that we'd all be back underway and kind of living yeah. normal again by July like and I was always really looking forward to that and every, every month went on cases or countries were getting worse and it's just the, the uncertainty of what you're going to do, like, yep. is there going to be a, a different WQS or is there going to be that or, or this? Uh, it's hard to prepare for, for something that's kind of not there, like you don't know when it's going to kick start back up. With no qualifying tour and an uncertain future, Matty shares how he stayed mentally focused and ready for the next season. Like this year, where well, the whole corona thing's been happening, I've definitely kept my fitness and surfing up. I'm surfing and training hard, but it's more so like a 70 to 80%. It's not like when you're getting ready for an event or something like that, when you know something's around the corner, you're doing anything and everything. But once there's not much consequence or not as much consequence, you kind of, uh, in my opinion, it's a smart way to do it so you're not getting burnt out too. Because if you're nailing yourself every day and there's nothing happening or nothing to get ready for, then you're going to get burnt out. So it's like, Everyone's different, but I think to keep that 80% capacity and, and keep having fun and know that it's right there and when I want to tap into it and tap into 100%, I know it's going to be waiting there. So yep. if you let everything go and sit back for a couple of months, you're dropping that capacity down to about 20%. So there's a lot to come back from, but it's just keeping that base level fitness and I, I enjoy it. Like I feel terrible if I don't get up in the morning and have a workout and have a surf and stuff. So I feel lazy and, and slow and even in the head I feel like not as happy and stuff I'm like why I'm getting so agitated I nearly sometimes try and go super hard through the week start slowing it down when the weekend crowd comes out and then yep. get back in on the Monday when everyone goes to work I spend some time with the family and friends and stuff on Sundays and and catch up that way too like it's good to keep all your friendships and networking and that it's another part of life too that makes you happy so of course yeah it's good Attitudes, everything, so you gotta good. take a good hard look at yourself in the mirror, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I needed to hear that. Yeah. <laughs>